In this video, we will check whether the two strings are anagram or not. So we will discussing a single program, uh, one liner program with the help of existing Java APIs. First, we will discuss that and then we will discuss also if you are not using the existing APIs, then how you can able to check the anagram uh, or not. So we will see that. And hey guys, my name is Pulkit and you're watching Java Box. So let's start this video. But before um, explaining this program, I will first would like to uh, tell you what is Enneagram. So uh, to understand this, let's suppose we have two string str1 and str2. So in str1, we have a box str2, we have oxb. So these are the two strings. So you see uh, both the, the box and oxb has the same number of length and the same number of characters but their their ordering are different in str2 if you look at right the box and oxb so this is what anagram is so both the strings should have the same number of characters and length but the ordering is different so this is what uh, i wrote this program uh, all about so we will check whether these two strings are uh, anagram or not so let's um, see in this program so this is a one liner program right so uh, let's suppose uh, I have uh, what I wrote, the data type is boolean, the name is is anagram, it will check whether the complete string is anagram or not. And the str1, uh, let's suppose I have, uh, uh, I will pass the same uh, set of a string, uh, the str1 would contain the box and the str2 would contain oxb, right? First, uh, so the first statement would be the return statement and in this, uh, first what I'll do, I'll checking the length of the string. So str1 dot length. So the length of the first uh, str1 is three characters, right? So the str1 length would be three and uh, is checking with str2 dot length. The uh, length of the next string is also three. So this condition is true, right? This is true. Now it goes to the second part. Uh, this is the AND operator, then we'll go to the uh, next part. So uh, let's uh, see first the deepest one. So str1, right, box, str1 dot two character array. So when we call the two character array, what it does, it will uh, um, convert the string into the character array. So how it would look like, it would look like this, b, o, x, right? Now it becomes a character array. Now this character array, uh, when passed as a parameter to the arrays dot short, arrays is it's a utility. Uh, it's a arrays dot short is a utility function. So it is basically used to short the uh, character array. So when it is passed as a parameter to the arrays dot short, it would become uh, like this. So as box is already shorted, right? Alphabetically, it's already shorted. So it would remain like as it is B O and x now come uh, come to the second string oxb so oxb dot two character array it would become like this o x b so it would become like this and would pass it as a parameter to the else dot short so when it gets shorted it would become like this b o x right now both the arrays are shorted and would be passed as a parameter to the arrays dot equals so equals is also a utility function of arrays. So um, that has that can take two parameter the two shorted array and it will check whether the arrays are equal or not. So as we have uh, the two shorted arrays box and box, so both are the shorted one. So it would return true, right? So this would return as true. The length is true, um, right? So this is true. The second part is also true. So uh, it would return true. So that would identify that this is the anagram. So both are anagram, it, it has returned true. Now what happens, right, uh, when you, uh, sometimes what happens in the interviews, like uh, uh, interview, interviewers say that you don't have to use the existing APIs. Like if you talk about the arrays.short or if you talk about the arrays.equals, these are the existing APIs. So they can tell you that you don't have to use the existing API, just write your own logic. So what you can do in that case that you can write your own logic for this arrays.short Right, and you write your own logic for the arrays dot equals. How would you write it? Let me tell you. For the arrays dot short, you can write your method like this. Uh, you can uh, make a uh, character type as any equals method. You need the character type data type, right? Return type, sorry. So the return type would be the character type sort any any name you can give, and the 
parameter what would be parameter so the parameter would be the character array that you want to short so inside this you can write your any shorting algorithm right we have the insertion short we have bubble short we have merge short we have tin short there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, shorting algorithms are there right so you can write any of this shorting algorithm here and that would you know fulfill your purpose so if you want um, so i'll not be discussing this shorting any of shorting algorithm here you can um, if you want it to be discussed on this channel just let me know in the comments below right so uh, for this uh, i'll be telling you the algorithm that you can write for this uh, instead of this and you can write your method name instead of this and the same thing would be the same similarly for the arrays dot equals right so the arrays dot equals what it is doing simply um, checking the shorted arrays right so you can write your own logic so what i have written here boolean it should have written like boolean right return type would be the boolean equals character there two parameters would be there as we have to uh, check two characters c1 c2 so i'll uh, take up a loop int i equals to 0 i less than you can take any of the character right so if you are here that means both the length of the character array is same then only you are here right if it is true then only the control comes here if it is false you, it, it have, would have written the false right because this is the end condition so if it is here the control is here the both the character has the same length of a string so you can take any of the character array here so for an example i have to i took c1 dot length and then i plus plus then it will check a condition that if c1 i is not equal to the c2 i that means if any of the character of c1 character array is not matching with the any of the character of the c2 character array then it would return false right and if it is uh, matching all are matching or that means it become it, it is equal then it would return true so this is a type of logic that you can write for the equals and the similar uh, like shorting algorithm any logic you can write for the arrays dot short and this would uh, you know serve your purpose for the uh, for writing the anagram so uh, i think that's it for for this video and if you like my content helpful then i want you to please share this video with your friends and colleagues and uh, please support this channel by subscribing it and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you would get the you know quickest notifications so um, that's it and if you have any doubt just let me know in the comments below i'll be happy to read it and will reply as soon as possible um, that's it um, see you in the next video bye bye